Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouchDrop Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick review of the body glove cases for my iPod Touch 4th generation as well as the uh, iPhone 4 uh, cases. So, here we go. The first one that I want to um, give the quick review of, if you saw my unboxing, you know what these look like already uh, and stuff like that. They come in boxes like this. Uh, my iPod Touch 4th gen case did not come in a case like that. It just came as is uh, and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure what kind of case it comes in, but this is called the iPod Touch 4G Entrepreneur Case. There's image coming soon on Body, Glo Body Gloves website. You can just go to www.bodyglovemobile.com and you can find all your um, cases there. It is pink and black, but uh, that's fine. Uh, does not cover the front at all, as you can see here. Um, so there's no lip at all on the iPod Touch 4th Gen case, uh, which is fine because some people don't like to feel something um, over their screen, which is fine, but got to be careful of scratching. And um, these cases do not come with any screen protectors as far as I could tell, so yeah, no screen protectors. Um, anyways, uh, on to uh, the review. Now, here you can see... They have a very nice cutout for the camera. I'm going to try to get this in focus here. I'm just going to zoom in manually here. As you can see, very generous cutout here. You got your microphone uh, is perfectly open. Your camera is good. Uh, over here, going to the side now, you've got your volume rocker. Very uh, generous spacing here. Very nice. Very easy to uh, use. Up here, you've got your home button, which is very accessible as well. As you can see, very easy to touch there's nothing being blocked at all by this case very precise cutouts uh, and the design's pretty nice too you probably can't tell by my camera but um, this is actually has a texture to it and um, has I don't know it's kind of a weird texture but it's very nice uh, for grip and stuff uh, when you're gaming and things like I always do so that's that this is opened uh, a lot of cases do that uh, probably just to be kinda like similar to the bottom but you know it's fine Pr provides good protection as you can see there's a t you probably can't see but there's a tiny little gap here but I highly doubt anything's gonna get into that because I think it closes up once it's in here um, so overall that's nice let's go over to the bottom here and show you 30 pin dot connector I've been plugging this into iTunes all the time I uh, have had no problem at all with that uh, microphone here easily accessible I believe that's or no that's a speaker sorry about that I believe the microphones over here not completely certain, but as you can see, all of these are easily accessible and open uh, and things like that. So overall, this is a very nice case. It does provide very good drop protection. This is the um, most sturdy case that I have for my iPod Touch 4th Gen right now. The most um, durable, uh, the one that I am trusting um, to hold my iPod Touch 4th Gen uh, and keep it from breaking. So this is the one I'm using. I don't care if it's pink, it still is cool. And I care about the protection of my iPod. So, very nice case. Uh, it's $29.99 on um, www.bodyglovemobile.com. So you can check it out if you want. I don't think they're going to have any other colors coming in. So, um, if you like pink, yeah, you're set. So I'm just going to move this out to the side. Set that down here. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the um, purple case here. This is called the Apple iPhone 4 Vibe Slider Case for the... Um, iPhone 4. So it is purple. As you can see, my camera is probably not catching all of the color perfectly. As you can see, it's very shiny. It does pick up a few fingerprints, as you can see. Um, but as you can see, look at that cutout. That is a huge cutout, uh, which is fine. I'm not really sure about iPhones, but I'm pretty sure. I'm not completely sure, but I think they have a flash, so I think that's why it's more open uh, like that, so you can get uh, capture all of that and stuff like that. So very big opening for the iPhone one. Uh, and it really looks kind of nice like that, like nice and big, open. Um, so, you know, you're not going to lose anything there. Uh, then down here it says body glove up at the top here. As you can see, it's kind of a weird cutout. It's not like open or anything like this was. See, it's open. This one has kind of a uh, bar at the front, which is uh, kind of odd when you're pressing the home button. Uh, it can be a little bit feels a little bit odd. It's like you have to press down into something. It's not like this one where you can just slide your finger onto it. Um, so that's a little bit weird, but you know, you can get used to it. It has kind of a nice texture to it. Um, so you don't accidentally turn off your phone. That's, I guess, a good thing. Here you have your little um, uh, jack. I think that's for the uh, like headphones and things. Not completely sure, because that's not a real headphone jack. Uh, over here, you've got your uh, volume rocker buttons, I guess you could call them. And as you can see, once again, there's a bar in front of it, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. 
Uh, pretty nice. Uh, big cutout, you know, there's no problem there at all. Very big cutout. And down here at the bottom, same design. Uh, very nice. Uh, not, it's, it's kind of cutting it kind of close here with these, um, I think they're speakers. Um, but, let's see if I can get this a little bit more focused. Um, but it's not cutting off anything, as you can see. It's cutting it close, but not anything is uh, being sacrificed there. Nice big opening for your 30 pin dot connector. So then there's nothing on the side, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, there is barely any gap between the device and the case, uh, and overall is a very solid case. Nothing rubbery about this. It's straight up plastic, uh, very nice. And if I open it here, I forgot to mention this for the iPod Touch uh, fourth gen case as well. Um, on the inside, it has this very nice, it's not real velvet, I don't think, but it has a nice velvety feel to it to keep your device from being scratched. Very nice. Um, I'll show you that on my iPod Touch 4th Gen case. Let me just take this off real quick. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, so I'm not going to try to do it on camera. There we go. So, there is uh, velvet on the inside, like I said. Uh, very nice and durable. So, now I have my uh, iPod, or iPhone 4 here, fake one, and I'm going to put this um, off to the side like so and so that's a very durable case uh, if you're looking for something rugged but has a very stylish design check this one out now here is one for the probably I would recommend this more for a gamer or someone uh, who wants to keep the style of their iPhone because you can see through the back see the iPhone and stuff like that so I'm gonna put this on this is a very hard case to get off if you didn't see my unboxing, it was on it, so obviously I've taken it off since then. Very difficult to get off, at least for me. Maybe after a couple more times, it will get easier. But let's get on to the review of this. I, like I said, I recommend this for a gamer because, as you can see, nice rubber on the sides for good grip and stuff like that. It doesn't feel like it's got that good of grip right now. I need to kind of, you know, uh, use it a little bit more and stuff like that if you want the good grip. Uh, but as you can see, at the top here, you've got um, home button. Nothing's being sacrificed at all. Easy to press. There's not a bar like on the other case. Um, so just give you a little view there. Once again, huge cutout for your camera and I believe flash. Um, so very nice there. You can see everything perfectly uh, through here. It's crystal clear. A body glove at the bottom, as well as on the iPod Touch 4th Gen. Forgot to mention that, <laughs> but it's right there at the bottom. And on the bottom here, you have uh, all your cutouts very easily accessible. Nothing's being sacrificed there. Uh, nice texture on the sides. And volume buttons. As you can see, there's a little bar here um, between, I think this is the mute switch on an iPhone. I'm not really sure, of course. But um, yes, yeah, so you got your volume buttons here, easy to press, and that. So whatever that is. So overall, this is a very nice case as well. Uh, I forgot to mention, this is $29.99 on their website, and uh, this other one is the Apple iPhone 4 Fringe Snap-on Case, and it is $24.99 on their website, www.bodyglovemobile.com, and you can check that out for yourself. So overall, these cases are very durable, very, uh, I, would, I would trust them on my devices. So I definitely recommend, if you're looking for a durable, uh, nice case for a pretty good price, you can check out. Uh, these cases so overall I rate them very high on the scale of cases as well as as far as quality and durability goes so check them out um, www.bodyglovemobile.com I want to thank them for sending these out for review and I'll catch you guys in the next one so don't forget to subscribe and like this video peace